closer and closer to my due date. Um, and I'm just ready to get it over with. Now that the baby shower is over, I'm just ready to get everything else just out of the way. Um, this week has been okay. Like, I'm just glad that all the baby shower stuff is over with because that was like the big, you know, stressful thing that was just bothering me that I just couldn't wait to get over. Um, the baby shower went really well. I will put up pictures. I'm going to show you guys some gifts that I got. Um... Yeah, it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun, played a lot of games, ate a lot of food. It was real cool. So, um, symptoms, I really haven't, oh, yeah. Last night, I was feeling like pressure, like, down my lower abdomen, and then it moved to, like, the right side of it, and I was feeling that when I was, like, going to sleep, but when I woke up, it wasn't there, so, I don't know, maybe she was just moving her position or whatever, hopefully she moved, like, head down or something that's what i'm hoping but i have a doctor's appointment tomorrow and i have to take the little strep test or whatever so we'll see how that goes um, i wrote my birth plan so i'm going to give that to my midwife tomorrow um i actually have to make some copies of it just to keep it and um i made my diaper bag but i'm going to show you that in another video because i don't want it to be too much but um i also i'm going to make my hospital bag so you guys can see what's in there. I haven't made it yet. So I'm just going to kind of whip that up so I can show you guys what I'm putting in my hospital bag. But there's still a lot of stuff that I know I need to get. So I'm going to make a list. I'm going to make the bag and then make a list of what I don't have so that I can put in it. So maybe over the next week or two weeks I can start um, purchasing the things that I need to go in there. But anyway, so this isn't half of what I got. But. Okay, so first thing I'm going to show you guys. Um, it says four flannel receiving blankets. These, I don't think you can ever have too many of these. Um, being that um, it's important to have something over your um, shoulder or in your hands when you're carrying a baby. You know, because you don't really want the baby on your clothes. But this is actually a receiving blanket. Um, then there's burp cloths that I got too. But they're in my room, so I didn't bring them out. Then I got... Some Nook bottles. They say that these are the best bottles because they're uh, they reduce colic and it promotes healthy oral development. And then it's uh, it says it's an original orthodontic nipple and it stimulates and supports breastfeeding. And the nipple is kind of made a little different from regular um, bottle nipples, or whatever. So they said that these are like the best um, bottles. And like I said, I, I do plan to breastfeed, so this was one of my favorite, you guys, okay? Um, my neighbor across the street, she handmade this. It's a blanket. She handmade it. It's a knitted blanket. And she also made, like, this little um, pouch. Looks, it could. My, my mom said it could be a diaper bag, but I was thinking maybe I can carry the baby in it. She said it, too. She was like, you could probably carry a baby in it since she's going to be so small. So, I, this was my favorite because I'm like, she took her time and made this for me. Like, the, like I love it. And because she doesn't have any blankets. So, I figure this is really, really, really going to be like her favorite thing ever. Like, I love that blanket. Um, this is a bottle drying rack and it has the brush in it. Uh, this was one of my favorite also. Because you can put it, uh, you know, just put the bottles on there and dry the bottles out. Um, this was a whole set for, um, it's like a Johnson set, and there's the, the Destin's, the Destin's, whatever it's called. It's like for diaper rashes. I really didn't plan on using Johnson's, um, baby products. I wanted to use, um, Burt's Bees, um, just because it's more natural. I really didn't want to use, like, just regular baby products, but I guess I'll just, do something with that. I mean, I'll use it, but these are three long sleeve snap tees. And I need the long sleeve because it will be cold when she gets here. So these are definitely a good go because I need those. I have some diaper disposal bags, 75 in a pack. These are definitely going to come in handy. Um, they're scented and yeah, these are pretty cool. Okay. This is for 
my grandma. It's a nursing bra. I really like this because, like I said, I am going to breastfeed, so it's going to be very helpful for me. Um, it has, like, the little holes right here. And this is the front part of the bra. And I guess you just, like, snap it off some kind of way. I tried it on earlier. It's a 34C, so it's, it fits perfect. You snap it off, and I guess you roll it down some kind of way. I don't know. I haven't really, like, tried it on or tested it, but it works some way like that. So, yeah. That was, like, the perfect gift. Um, this is so cute, and it came with a bow and some socks, and it says, This is my little black dress. <laughs> so cute. That's really cute. And more bottles. These are from um, Gerber. And it says that it is... This is a, a, also... It reduces COVID, yeah. They said those are the best bottles. So, Oh, and this one. Victoria's Secret. This one was for me, actually. Um, I got a gift card from Victoria's Secret. It's really cute. Gift card, gift card. So I guess I'll show you guys my belly and um, I will be putting up my next videos. The diaper bag and then my hospital bag. So this is my little sugar bump. <laughs> and from the front. She's getting pretty big, you guys. That's that side. I'm so ready to get this over with. But thanks for watching and look out for my next two videos that I'll be making this week. Bye.